Um, another important parameter is the efficiency of the product. This is uh, kind of uh, the roadmap um, and, and the achievements we have done. When you look at this, numbers are a little small here. So uh, this is since uh, Q1 of 2002. And we started with somewhere around 7% efficiency. And uh, today, um, and I can only um, uh, agree to what has been said before, there have been a lot of improvements and they come with the experience in manufacturing the product. You can only do so much in the lab. You have to do things in the lab, but a lot of these improvements are accomplished with getting into volume, having an experience base, and then making it into products. So right now we are a little above 10.5% um, uh, average efficiency on our product. What is the outlook on efficiency? What's possible? Um, Clearly, we have um, a set of programs uh, at any given time uh, that we have in the lab that we transition in experiments into uh, a, a test line and that we then transition into um, a factory uh, test programs. There's more programs than uh, we, we currently are executing on, but we have those stacked. Um, our own best sell on something that has been closer to manufacturing process than the best efficiency module from Enver, which is at 16 0.5, actually it's a small cell on a lab scale. Our best cell has been at 14.5. Um, and again, this is closer to what we see as our process, but it's still lab and we still have to work a little bit to get there. Um, next important aspect about product is, um, and I was mentioned before by Mr. Bechler, is um, uh, bankability of the product. Um, it's good to have a product. It's better if it's really sellable in the markets that you want it to be sold. And one of the key aspects is that you have to prove your product is reliable and it performs. And uh, what we have done at First Solar in, in cooperation with our partners, we are monitoring product um, in the field. So right now we're monitoring more than 25 megawatts out there in the field uh, with a third party monitoring, so neutral. And uh, what this chart basically shows you is the performance that is expected as kind of the 100% line and where on average these systems perform. So we see on average a 5% higher performance in the field um, with the product um, than what the general expectation is. Uh, so this is you know, due to effects that, that we see low light efficiency, temperature coefficient, uh, those effects. So we, we are very uh, comfortable with the performance of our product in the field. Talking about the market, um, First Solar has focused its strategy on large applications. Um, large applications for us are free field systems, uh, multi megawatt type systems, uh, as well as commercial roof systems. Um, uh, one partner, uh, UV, has um, uh, currently the largest power plant. It's uh, in its current state, 24 megawatt um, installed near Leipzig, and um, is going to, going to be 40 megawatt probably uh, by the end of this year or early next year. Uh, the largest currently, the largest roof systems with Synfirm is uh, 4.8 megawatt uh, by a partner, Kalexon, and um, uh, that is close to the largest system uh, on roofs out there with five megawatt. We certainly like those large applications, but uh, the span of systems ranges from about 30 kilowatt to those large systems. And um, we feel we're very well positioned in those uh, types of applications because of the specific properties of our product, meaning uh, specifically the high energy yield uh, at low light condition, at uh, high temperatures. And we feel that because we need a little more space, even though we're at above 10% efficiency now, we feel that on a slightly larger roofs, we're better positioned with the commercial customer as well as the investor type customer. Because the argument of return of investment is the overweighing argument for those types of customers rather than how do I get the most dollar per watt out of my given roof space. And certainly uh, we're positioning in, in maximum value for the investor and owner and People who appreciate that are typically good customers for us. Um, countries uh, that we have been looking at, mostly uh, Germany, um, and uh, we see the emerging markets clearly being uh, Spain, France, and Italy, uh, but we also see activities uh, right now with our product in Canada, 
Greece, uh, the US, definitely, where we have our own venture and we're exploring that, uh, as well as uh, potentially South Korea. Um, we have uh, sold um, a capacity um, in, in the range of uh, more than uh, three gigawatt to the partners that we have selected. Currently, there's uh, 14 partners that we have in Europe uh, who represent our product in the market. Those are all experienced um, partners with strong, uh, strong competences in their areas of expertise, be it uh, utilities, IPPs, be it project developers, system integrator customers. So the, the range of customer types is, is varying, um, and that's good, but they all um, are very good partners to us. Talking about the roadmap to grid parity, um, when we look at uh, uh, where currently the costs are, first on the module side, we think that there is potential for cost reduction clearly, and there has to be uh, a large contributor to what we uh, see over the next years. And we've been looking not at 2010, but 2012 in our time frame uh, of, of uh, prediction is efficiency is, uh, is a large contributor uh, next to having the right production location. So both of those contribute between you know, 15, 16 to 17, 18 percent of the cost reduction over the next years. Um, and we should not forget that um, quite a few of those decisions have already been made. So when you think of 2010 or 2012, this is not as far away as we may think. So <laughs> this should be kept in mind. Um, spending, um, of course, you've got to manage your, uh, your, your spending, your, your SG&A, um, and throughput is another metric, so continuously improve your capacity of the line, yield throughput uh, is an important one. Um, and then scale, so when you see scale of the plant, is certainly a contributor, and every percent is important, but relative to the others, it is of uh, slightly less importance, so we know where the focus has to be. We think that overall we can reduce the cost by another 50 to 55 percent in that time frame. That is uh, an objective uh, we see. But the module is only one part of the system, as we have heard, and the part I'm going to show you, the balance of, of plant, is also not the whole picture, as we have heard from Mr. Bechler, and, and we tend to agree with that. There's other components outside the system that have to be considered when you think about uh, lifetime cost of PV systems. 